just tells me that Charlie Baker is not here. Where's Charlie? I keep saying this. Where's Charlie? Has there been a sighting of Charlie? But I want to give a special shout out because although Charlie Baker is not here, to his credit, Mark Fisher is here. Mark, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. What this issue is about and why this issue is so important, my friends, I am telling you, this is a watershed moment. We have now reached the tipping point, I believe, in this state and in this country. And the question now that faces us as the American people, the question we are posing to the liberal corrupt regime of this state, Come on up, Mark. Come on up. Listen, we had our disagreements, but he's an honorable man for showing up. Mark, why don't you say a few words? Wow, what a great crowd today. This is not a campaign stop for me. This is all for Justina. So just two things. We don't need Harvard Law degrees to understand this. We don't need another law. We just need common sense. We have it. I have it. They don't have it. It's what Justina needs. Common sense. 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 The second thing, big crowd here today, but there are some notable people missing. Where is Martha Coakley? Where is Steve Grossman? Where is Joe Avalon? Where is Don Berwick? Where are the other governor candidates? I forgot just one. What's his name? Charlie Baker, where is Charlie Baker? Charlie Baker, where is Charlie Baker? Charlie Baker, where is Charlie Baker? Thank you guys for all showing up. This is all about Justina. Keep her in your prayers. I sent an email to Governor Malloy just yesterday. And I said, it's been a failure of leadership in Massachusetts. Don't make the same mistake in Connecticut. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. We have now reached, I believe, a tipping point. This is a watershed. And what it comes down to is very simple. Are we the constituents of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? Or as I like to say, the People's Republic of Massachusetts? Are we their masters or are we their servants? And the message that we are delivering on DCF, on Justina Pelletier, on issue after issue is, Governor, you work for us, we don't work for you. What is now occurring, I believe, in this state, what you are seeing now is the tip of the spear. It is the tip of the iceberg of a growing rebellion and movement in this state and in this country. Because we are tired of being ruled by our liberal democratic overlords. The peasants have had enough. This, my friends, what we are now engaged in, let us be very clear, is an ideological, cultural, and moral war for the heart and soul of our country. And at the heart of this war is the fundamental question, who has ultimate responsibility over our children? Is it the government or is it us, the parents? 
It doesn't take a village. It takes a family. My friends, let me just conclude by saying this. This man has been without his daughter for nearly 16 months. Visitation once a week under armed supervised guard. This corrupt, out of control Department of Children and Families has allowed child after child after child to die. Children have been raped. We just had one, I talked about it a couple of days ago. A nine year old boy was raped under the care of DCF and they swept it under the rug. Children, uh, in, pardon me, in Walpole. Children have gone missing. These are our children. Okay, now we have somebody from, the, somebody from the DMV running the DCF. My friends were in a lot more trouble than I thought. And oh, Queen Olga Roche, we got rid of her. But what is the ball, Patrick? He keeps her on for three more months to line her pockets $137,000 a year. They held it they feared this report coming out. They held it back because they knew this rally was coming. My friends, they're afraid of us. Because to their shock and horror, the peasants have now awakened. They have now awakened a sleeping giant. And I am here to tell Governor Deval Patrick, John Polanowicz, and every other member of the corrupt democratic machine in this state. You're fired! You're fired! Yeah. And let me just say this, and I'm being as serious as a heart attack. The Val Patrick Minimi has president, believe it or not, I swear to you, the $9 million Taj Naval, the probation department scandal, the drug lab scandal, 64 people dead at the New England compounding center scandal, the raising the automatic hiking of the gas tax, issue of, this guy honestly thinks he could be the next president of the United States. Honestly, I, I can't believe it. Well, I've got news for Deval Patrick from any me. I'm giving him a warning. And I'm going to make it as loud and clear as I possibly can. And you have my word of honor on this. God is my witness. If something should happen to Justina Pelletier, because you did not release her from the clutches of DCF, God forbid, I will hold you personally responsible. Be finished. But God is my witness. I'm going to call for you to be charged as a criminal and sent off to prison. Yeah. Yeah. My friends, we have them on the ropes and they know it. This issue, we have moral right on our side. We have justice on our side. We have the people on our side. We have the Constitution on our side. And dare I say it, because I know it's verboten in the United States of America. It is forbidden to say this. We have God Almighty on our side. My friends, members of Kuna country. If we continue to speak out, if we continue to be brave and courageous and bold, if we continue to allow our voice to be heard, 
Justina Pelletier will come home. She will go where she belongs with her mother, her father, Jessica, and her family. So for Justina Pelletier, one last time, because the media is here, let Justina see how many people here at Cooner Country in Massachusetts in America love her, support her, and want her home. Let us say it together. Free Justina! 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 I want to thank all of you, all of you, Lou, Jessica, all of you, for coming today. May God bless you, and may God bless the greatest country in the history of the world, the United States of America. Have a happy, blessed Memorial Day weekend.